channel in today's video we're going to be doing kind of a speed reviews rave and rejects hits and misses kind of video but the focus is going to be cream and liquid blushes i've been talking about doing this video for a while i think i finally had enough time to kind of adequately test everything so that i can give you guys a good review most of these products i've been testing for at least a couple of months so yeah we're just going to discuss these different formulas what i thought about them what worked for me what didn't work for me and just kind of go from there so let's start off with the Trace Luce ones. These are from Becky G. This is part of her brand. I'm move these to the side. I picked up two shades, Vacation, which is a fuchsia pink. And then this one is Girls Night, which is supposed to be a really pretty bright pigmented red. I was very excited when I first saw that Trace Luce was coming to Ulta. That's where I picked these up from. I was really excited to try this formula, but it just didn't really work for me. I didn't really like it. It's kind of thick. It's not very creamy. It's not very smooth. I found it very difficult to blend onto the cheeks. And the Girls Night, which is supposed to be a vibrant red, really isn't. It blends out more like a pink on the cheeks. So what ends up happening is that both of these end up pretty much looking the same. Instead of this one being, you know, a super bright red and this one being a fuchsia pink, they end up just looking the same because this one just blends out into a pink instead of a red. So that was disappointing. I found this very difficult to blend over powder. I even tried blending it over foundation under powder, same thing. It's just not very easy to work with. And I tried both a brush and a sponge and this formula just did not work for me. This one also sucked. This is from Laura Mercier. It is a tinted moisturizer blush. This shade is in Coastline. I got this from Influencer. They sent me two shades. The lighter shade I gave to one of my best friends. She's more fair and I knew that would look good on her. That one was not going to work on me. You would think that because this says tinted moisturizer blush that it was going to feel like a tinted moisturizer as far as the consistency. Kind of lotion-y, kind of creamy. This was very liquidy and I found this so difficult to blend like it set down almost immediately the first time i tried it i tried blending it over powder and it would not move i applied a few dots to my cheeks started blending out and almost immediately it was set and it would not move i tried blending it over foundation blending it over foundation it gave me a little bit more wiggle room but still the same thing it just blends down so fast that you just don't have time to work with it so yeah this was definitely a miss for me. I didn't like this formula. Let me know guys down in the comments as I'm going through this video if you've tried any of these formulas and how they work for you. Were you able to get a formula to work for you that didn't work for me? I'm just kind of curious. Just let me know. These two are the Perfusion Blush Hour Soft Matte Liquid Blushes. The shades are Paloma and Mai Tai. Now, first of all, when I was filming the video where I was trying these on, I kept thinking, where have I seen this packaging before? I know I have seen it before and then I realized it is identical to the She Glam blush packaging. I mean, 100%, as you can see, identical. It is exactly the same. Even the component on the inside, as you can see, has that cone-shaped sponge applicator. These are exactly the same way. So I think we know that as far as the packaging, that they came from the same manufacturer. Perfusion just had like their little touch added to them, but yeah, that's exactly the same. I thought that was amusing. Now, as far as the formula is concerned, I really like this one from She Glam. Now, I'm not purchasing from She Glam anymore. You know, they've had some issues and stuff, but I cannot deny that this formula, it is really, really nice. It blends on the skin just beautifully. This is a beautiful peachy pink formula just or shade rather just gorgeous these however i had a little bit more difficulty with my tie i felt it did blend out slightly better these are extremely liquidy you know, it's blending out pretty decently you know over my hand when i tried blending it over foundation it just didn't blend on that foundation powder it didn't blend very well as i mentioned before i have oily skin so when I use a liquid or cream blush or highlighter, I needed to be able to work over powder really well. This one was okay, but it just, it didn't blend as well as I would like. And Paloma, Paloma is supposed to be this really pretty vibrant red. That's one of the reasons why I grabbed this one. I mean, as you can see right there, it looks red. Now, I don't know if it's because it's mixing with the foundation or the powder, but when I blended this over my cheek, it did not look red like this. It was straight pink. 
And I'm guessing since it's blending okay on my hand and looks red, that over the powder and over foundation, because I did try blending this over foundation alone, it turned pink. And I'm just guessing that the formulas just kind of blend it together and that may have been the issue. The formula was okay. I didn't hate it. I may keep these and just kind of continue to work with them. But I do have other liquid blushes that the formulas perform a little bit better for me. These weren't a total miss. They worked okay, just not my favorite. These two are also from Perfusion. These are newer. These are the Full Bloom. This is part of the Full Bloom collection. There was like eyeshadow palettes, um, liquid shadows, highlighters, just a whole, just a whole collection. This shade is Rose Petal. So pretty. Of the two shades, this one is my favorite. And this shade is Hibiscus. First things first, this formula is very, very balmy. It's not like super creamy. It just feels extremely balmy. I found that Hibiscus, extremely sheer on the skin. I mean, you can see right there, like it just blends out to like barely nothing. And I tried building this one up on the cheek and I just didn't have much pigment and payoff showing on this one, but this shade was beautiful. Of the two, this one was my favorite. This one just gives me a very nice, warm, toasty glow, just so freaking pretty. The formula is nice. It does blend pretty decently over powder. I tried using both a brush and a sponge. I found that the best way to apply these is with a sponge. Using a sponge, it just blends out beautifully over powder, over foundation. Either way, it just looks gorgeous. Like I said, the two shades, this one just worked better for me. I don't think there's anything wrong with this one, but I think it would work better for like fair to medium skin tones. If your skin tone is a little bit deeper, I would go with this one over this one. This one is not new to my collection. I just wanted to show it to you since I was telling you that I was having an issue with the red blending out in the Trace Luce one. This is from AOE Studios. This shade is called Charm. This is one of their cream blushes. This is one of my absolute favorite cream blush formulas. This one is bright red. It is a pure red and it blends on the cheek red, period. You put this on, you blend it out, it stays this beautiful vibrant red color and this was only a dollar. I really wish that Girls Night one from Trace Luce Beauty. This one right here, you know, gave me the same effect as this one, but it just didn't. It's very disappointing. The LYS Soft Matte Cream Blush this one was absolutely beautiful. This is one of my first purchases off of Sephora. This one and then the Patrick Tall one, which I'll be showing you in just a minute. This shade is called Epic. It's a beautiful burnt terracotta orange. This formula is also slightly balmy, but it's a little bit creamier. Super, super pigmented. Blends beautifully onto the skin. I mean, just look at that. Absolutely stunning. This just gives you a beautiful, warm, bronzy summer glow. And this formula is very long wearing. I have oily skin and it doesn't like melt away throughout the day. It just, it's long wearing. It lasts the entire day. This has become one of my absolute favorite cream blush formulas. I definitely want to pick up some more. This one was stunning. And then we have the Patrick Ta for Face. This is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in She's Vibrant. This one... The way that he did these kind of duo blushes. The shade is the same. You just have one in powder and then one in cream. I don't really use the powder one as much. I do focus more on the cream, first of all. And I love the fact that he has this little plastic covering so it goes over the plastic, I mean over the cream blush so you don't get the powder into the cream blush. But this is a really pretty creamy balmy formula as well. The full bloom blushes from Perfusion. The texture feels a lot like this. This one blends beautifully over the skin, just like the LYS one, which you can see right there. This is a really pretty, just rose soft pink. One thing I will say about this one, I'm gonna drop a picture in here because I do want you to see. When I ordered this one, this shade is called She's Vibrant. Now it is described as, you know, a pink on the website, but when you look at the product photo, which I should be dropping here so you guys can see. The shade looks more like a burnt orange. It doesn't look like this. Like the, the product photo on the website does not match the actual product, which I just thought was so weird. So when it came, I was expecting it to look more coral, you know, coral orange. This formula is beautiful. The shade is beautiful. I have no complaints 
where that is concerned, I was just a little disappointed because this is not what the picture on the website looks like. So yeah, they need to work on the product photos being more representative of what the actual product looks like, but the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush, this was beautiful. I love this formula. Some more Dollar Cream blushes. These are also not like super new to my collection, but I've really been enjoying these. These are the AOA Studio Color Flush Liquid Blushes. These were a dollar each. This formula is stunning. This is what I wish the Laura Mercier one was like. These are so soft and creamy and they just blend like a dream. You blend this over foundation, you blend this over powder and it just blends right out, right into the skin. Doesn't set down really, really quickly. You have time to kind of work with it. And the formula is extremely long wearing. It lasts all day. Doesn't melt off my face throughout the day as my face gets oily. Considering the fact that these things were only a dollar. Like this, this is an amazing product. I highly, highly recommend these. These are from LA Colors. These are the cream gel blushes. The shades I have are Hypnotize and Tainted Love. This formula was nice too. It did blend out well over powder and over you know foundation i did find it to be kind of a cream gel formula like it's described to be like i said i didn't have any trouble with blending it out this is the tainted love shade and as you can see blends right on out no issues no issues as far as that's concerned my only issue with it and this shade is hypnotized was that it's not very long wearing you can build it up but it still has more of a kind of a natural skin finish. It's not like super, super pigmented, which I don't mind. If I just want something just light, this was a good go-to for that. My main issue with these, like I said, is that these were not very long wearing. I'd say after about a couple of hours, and I even set, set this down with a little bit of like translucent setting powder, setting spray. After a couple of hours, it just started to fade away. There was barely any color left to my face. So that I would say that is the only negative to these. If the formula was more long wearing, it lasts a little bit longer, this would have been like at the top of my list because as far as like blendability, as far as how it looks on the cheeks, the formula is really, really beautiful. I just wish that it lasted longer on the cheeks than it does. This last one is from Half Caked. If you guys remember the video where I was testing out like a full face of Half Caked, I have seen these blushes showing up on my Instagram feed so much. And I saw Taylor Wynn talk about them. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna order some products and test them out. The blush you can get in this little three piece set it has a bronzer, cream bronzer, cream highlighter, and then the cream blusher. That is what I got. It was like $25, very reasonably priced. Everything on the Half Caked website was very reasonably priced. This shade is American Pie. It's supposed to be a very vibrant red. This one is kind of balmy too. This one feels a lot like the one from Patrick Ta. I got this one once again because it looked like it was going to be a vibrant red, but when you put it on, you can even see here, it turns pink. It's not red. It's like a, a bright fuchsia pink. You see that? The formula was okay. It did blend beautifully over powder and foundation. I have no complaints about that at all. And it was very long wearing. This lasted the day. Did not melt off my face once again with having oily skin. The formula lasted all day. But yeah, I was a little bit disappointed in the shade. If the shade not quite matching is the worst thing that happened with this product, you know, I'm okay with it. But the formula itself was stunning. I wouldn't mind picking up some more shades in this formula. It's really beautiful. And I love supporting indie brands. So that is going to be it for this rave and reject speed reviews of some cream and liquid blushes that I have been currently testing out. Once again, let me know guys what you've been testing out. Let me know if you've tried any of these formulas. Did they work for you? Did they not work for you? Were you able to take something that may have not been working for you and just kind of make it work better for you? Let me know down in the comments, sound off. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. If you're new to my channel, you are not already subscribed. I would love it if you would consider joining this little family and hitting subscribe. Make sure to tap that notification bell so you can notified of any videos coming up in the future. You can also follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.